There's been a lot of debate over protections for people who are gay, especially with the Supreme Court taking up the issue. And many states don't have certain legal protections for the LGBTQ community. That includes Pennsylvania. But the city of Pittsburgh does. John Delano takes a look at the current laws and how the Supreme Court's decision could affect them. In a nutshell, the Supreme Court is being asked to decide a fundamental question. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Now. Does the Federal Civil Rights Act of 1964, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex, also outlaw discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity? Right now, in most parts of Pennsylvania, you can be fired for being gay, lesbian, or gender. You can be married to your partner legally because it's na nationally, it's uh, nationwide, it's legal, but you can be fired from your job. So this case before the Supreme Court is critical. It's very uh, important. It's a pivotal moment of our lives as TLGBTQ people um, in Pittsburgh. We have been fighting for these same rights for decades. Ciora Thomas with Sisters PGH is a transgender female of color. We've actually called employers and asked them would they hire transgender people, and we've gotten no's. Pennsylvania is one of those states that still allows employers and public accommodations to discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, or expression. That's something that people, I think, are surprised to hear. But some municipalities, like Pittsburgh, have their own laws. If somebody is in an employment situation, they're trying to apply for housing, they're already in housing and maybe they're being asked to leave or evicted, or they're denied a public accommodation or a city service, and any of that is based on their sex, their sexual orientation, their gender identity, or how they express their gender, that is illegal in the city of Pittsburgh. Whether the country follows Pittsburgh is now up to the nine Supreme Court justices. John Delano, KDKA News.